friends, I thought I would do a separate video of the things that went on on my cruise. <laughs> um, basically, you know, if I didn't want to be like, oh look at me, I went on a cruise. Um, <clears throat> and just rub it in your face in my regular podcast. So if you really want to watch what happened on my cruise, here you go. This is what <laughs> this is what happened on my cruise, and I figured since I still feel like I'm on the boat, might as well talk about it. <laughs> they say that this whole motion sickness, it's not sickness, it's just I feel wobbly. I don't have my land legs, and they say that can last for a couple days. I hope this ends soon. <laughs> So, I'm just going to kind of go day by day what happened, um, try to keep it brief. You know, just let you know how much fun I had. Um, but I still cannot believe that I went on a Disney cruise, especially with my husband. Because, one, he is not a fan of Disney. I mean, he likes Disney movies, but he's not, like, into the whole Disney magic. And, two, he doesn't really like water. <laughs> So we're on a cruise <laughs> in the ocean anyway but yeah it was it was magical it really was um so first things first we got on uh we went to the port of miami which isn't disney's port um they kind of share it with other uh cruise ships so disney has like one terminal and they try to disneyfy it up um it's not the same as Port Canaveral, which is Disney's main port. Anyway, um, but they had music piping through the speakers, Disney music, and I'm singing along with all of them. Because I know all the songs. <laughs> and then um, our friends, because they are return cruisers, they got to go into an earlier boarding um, group than we did, and they had a different section that they got to go wait in and so we were kind of shuffled off to another side to the other side <clears throat> but and I was kind of miffed about that like why can't we go together why can't why do we have to be separated um but that changed as soon as I walked around the corner there was Mickey I was so excited <laughs> excuse me and it was Ryan's first time meeting Mickey, because um, he's never been to Disney World or Disneyland or anything like that. Um, so we got in line, got pictures with him, um, and of course Ryan's like, I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, <coughs> so sorry. He said that he was going to do snail, like go in for a fist bump and then when Mickey puts his fist out like this he was gonna go like this underneath it so you snail I was like you cannot do that to Mickey you can do that to Goofy but not to Mickey okay <laughs> so um, that was amazing um, so when we first got on board I'm gonna see about splitting and inserting videos of what happened when we got on board like us actually stepping on the ship and then the magic that happens when you are actually like get inside here. Let's see right here. Oh. <laughs> she made them. She does all the cooking. Okay. But I didn't have the eyes. It's yeah. the, the scary part. Can I have your family name, please? Uh, Keel. Like Keel. Keel of the boat. Got it. Yeah. This is Magic Feast. Welcome to the Keel family. <laughs> Hopefully that worked. <laughs> um, so when you first get on the ship, you can't really go to your room. It's not ready for you. So we went and found our friends. Um, their names are Scott and Sarah, and their daughters are Ruby and Zoe. So if I mention them, that's who I'm talking about. Um, we went and had lunch with them at the buffet. First experience of cruise buffet. <laughs> um, and then we, we kind of walked around, like, kind of got our bearings. It took me a few days to really remember which restaurant is where, on what deck. Um, that took a while. <laughs> um, 
But then we went to, we finally were like, well, let's check our room. It was 1.30. We we're like, we should be able to go into our rooms. Um, they said our luggage wouldn't get to us until, like, later that night. Um, so they said to make sure to have, like, a carry-on bag with things that you'll need until your bags get to your room. But we went to our room, and two of our bags were already there. So we started unpacking. <laughs> and we got everything set, situated, ready to go. Um, we then uh, did a... We had joined the Facebook group for this cruise, so several of us have been talking before, for like a year, <laughs> before we went on this cruise. Um, and so we decided to do a meetup, and ten people showed up. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, I wanted to meet more of you. Anyway, oh well. Um, and then we had to go to our drill, the mandatory safety drill. And the whole time Zoe is, I want to go in the kids club, I want to go to the kids club. And it's like, no, you have to be here at this drill. Sorry, kid chick. Um, but after the drill, not a problem. We went to um, the main pool deck and they had a big party for us as we sailed away. And then this magic happened right here. cannot tell you how excited that like I swear the whole day like things would make me tear up and then I'm like I can't talk because this is just so magical I can't believe I'm here um so after the party we went and got ready we went to our first show which was twice charmed that is um a retelling of the Cinderella story um they changed things like the you know, I'm not gonna give it away, <laughs> but it's Cinderella's story. Um, and then we went to dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table, which was amazing. I loved it. Um, you know, you get your servers and, um, cause there's three like dining areas and so you have a rotation. So you go to different ones every night. Although since we had four nights, we were at one restaurant two nights in a row. Um, but our servers go with us. Um, so they really got to know <coughs> Sorry. Um, they really got to know you, know your preferences. <coughs> <coughs> My goodness. They really got to know your preferences and um, it's like they all, they knew like I like Diet Coke without ice so I always had that for me for my dinner, um, <clears throat> and it's like, and you really got to know, like, I felt like Eduardo and Irina were friends, because <laughs> we'd see them throughout the ship, and hey, how's it going, um, and it's funny, same with our, uh, stateroom host, Ferdy, um, he called Ryan Sir Ryan all the time, which Ryan really liked that, um, but anyway, uh, dinner was amazing. They had a nice little show with Rapunzel and the thugs and Eugene. And, um, of course, Ryan didn't really remember the story. So when we got back to our room that night, <clears throat> you can watch any Disney movie, pretty much any Disney movie, um, on the TV there. So I turned on Tangled. I was like, I, plus that's more of my favorite of the modern ones. I like Tangled more than Frozen, so I was like, let's watch this as we fall asleep. <laughs> so we watched Tangled, kind of prepare Ryan for uh, Rapunzel and all that. Um, then, the next morning, <clears throat> day two with Key West, and as soon as we got off the port, we walked uh, straight to the southernmost point of the continental U.S. Um, you do have to have that qualifier. Ian, my brother, wanted to, he's like, I thought it was an island. Well, it's part of Florida, which is a part of the continental U.S. Hawaii is further south of Key West, and it's not part of the continental U.S. So, that's why they have the qualifier, the southernmost point of the continental U.S. Just so you know. <laughs> um, and, 
I had heard this before, but I couldn't remember why, and I had forgotten about it. Um, but there are chickens everywhere in Key West. Like roosters and hens just walking around and crowing the whole day. <laughs> um, and on our walk, we walked past Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway's house. And we stopped at a few shops, souvenir shops. Um, for most of my souvenirs, I wanted to get magnets for our fridge and ornaments for our Christmas tree. Um, so at Key West, I got this. Oop. It's a little rooster, and it's painted like the um, southernmost monument. So the southernmost point, Key West, Florida, is what this rooster says. And then I, my ornament for this one is a slice of key lime pie. <laughs> um, so, of course, you know, Key West, we have to have key lime pie. We also got rolled ice cream, which I didn't really eat a lot of that because I knew we were going to the key lime pie place later, like next. Like, that was the next on the list. Um... And then we also had some gourmet donuts. I had a blood orange jelly filled donut, which was really good. Um, and we just kind of did some little bit of souvenir shopping here and there. Um, and then, <coughs> I am so sorry for my coughing. I will try to cut them out. We'll see if I can or not. I'm still new to this editing thing. Um, when we got back, Ryan and I got our swimsuits on, and we went and got some real food, because all we had been eating was sweets <laughs> all day. Um, so we got, uh, I think we got burgers. And then we um, went and sat by the pool, waited for our food to digest, and then we went swimming. Um, I knitted by the pool, actually. <laughs> um, worked on my socks. And then we went swimming. We were in the adults area. For the most part, we tried to, like, stay clear of the family area because um, we kind of wanted to have a relaxing vacation and we knew if we were around the kids a lot, all the screaming and everything, we were just like, it would bother us. So we tried to go to the quiet, quieter areas. Um, but at the adult pool, when you're in the pool, everybody just stood there. Nobody was swimming. They just stood in the pool. I was like, this is kind of boring. And I was there by my, at first I went by myself because Ryan didn't want to swim. Because he doesn't like water. And I was like, please come with me. <laughs> I'm all alone. He's like, alright, I'll be there. So, we were in the pool for maybe 45 minutes. And then we decided to go ahead and get, get out, go get ready. Um, we decided to do our semi-formal night uh, on the second night. Um, they didn't really have a plan for us as far as when semi-formal or formal nights were, um, we could pick and choose what night we wanted to do it, so we decided to do that night. Um, the show that we went to was Tangled the Musical, which I loved. Um, it's basically the whole movie retold in Broadway musical form. So, spoiler there. <laughs> um, and then for dinner that night, we went to Lumiere's, which is their Beauty and the Beast uh, themed restaurant. So there's roses everywhere. Um, there wasn't a show that night. Like, in the restaurant. Like, there wasn't anything going on, at, like, music-wise or anything in that restaurant um, that night. Um, but it had wonderful French cuisine foods. So good. Um, we got uh, special pictures taken um, with backdrops. <coughs> so sorry. Um, and then after dinner, Ryan and I just kind of walked around the ship. Like, once we were um, moving, like, like we walked around the ship when we were in port, but this time we were... <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. I am so sorry. But once the boat was actually moving... We actually decided to go walk around, see what that was like. Um, oh, I totally forgot to mention. So, you know, there are times when you're hanging out with people and you get, like, 
a theme line, or like a line that you all say over and over and over again. Well, we had two lines that we said a lot, um, thanks to Ruby and Zoe. Um, from It came from our cruise director. He was asking um, who was excited to be there. So, like, he asked the ladies to scream. He asked the guys to scream. He asked the children to scream. And he started laughing. He's like, yeah, you know, you get the ladies are like, woohoo, we're so excited. And he's like, and then you get the guys who are like, yeah, I'm so excited. And so one of his lines that Ruby kept repeating the whole time was, yeah, I'm on a boat. <laughs> so you see this skinny 10-year-old little girl, yeah, I'm on a boat. <laughs> so that was like our line for the whole cruise. And then... When Zoe saw the chickens, she was like, hey, Dad, you want some chicken beef? <laughs> Which isn't a thing. But at every dinner, we're like, are you ordering the chicken beef? <laughs> Do you want the chicken beef? <laughs> anyway. So after Lumiere's, after walking around the deck, um, walking around, watching the ship sailing through the ocean, um, we went to bed. The next night... The next day, we woke up at Castaway Key, which is Disney's island. Um, they are leasing it from the Bahamas. Um, they have a 99-year lease on this island. So they Disney-fied it up. Um, there's all kinds of stuff all around the island. Um, but one of the things that we did was the Castaway Key 5K. I did a 5K on my cruise. <laughs> I have the bib to prove it. Um, so, basically Sarah and I decided we would just walk it. We didn't want to run. Um, because we just weren't in that great of shape. Um, and the main reason I wanted to do the 5K was so I could get a free souvenir. Because... You get a participation medal <laughs> if you do it. So Ryan and I both did it. So we have our Castaway Key 5K medals. I'm like, hey, yeah, free souvenir. Why not do it? <laughs> um, so after the 5K, it took Sarah and I about an hour to walk it because it, it's hot. And you're walking on pavement, and it's painful. And, like, Ryan and Ruby and Scott were all sore. Zoe was the only one who couldn't participate, it cause she participate in it because she's not old enough. Um, but after that, they kind of went to the family beach and did their family thing. And we kind of did, Ryan and I did our own thing. Um, one of the things was his free throw contest. <laughs> Maybe I should stop so he can actually make one. <laughs> so, I didn't record much of his free throw contest because I, every time I'd watch, he'd miss. So I just eventually like would turn my back and walk away. Like, I'm not even going to be near you. <laughs> um, so after that, we went to Serenity Bay, which is the adult beach. Um, they have better food over there. So we went and got steak and mahi-mahi and all that stuff. I've come to realize I really like couscous. Never knew that. <laughs> but, you know, they try new stuff. Why not? Um, and then from lunch, we went to the beach. And we were there for maybe two hours. We're not really beach people. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really like the sand getting everywhere. Um... But we went and, like, actually got it in the water. Um, we didn't really swim. We were just kind of wading in the water. Um, Ryan has a thing about floating. Like, he, in the pool, he tried floating and he just could not. Um, but with the salt water content of the ocean, he was able to float. So we were, <laughs> we're like, whoa, that's pretty cool <laughs> that you can float. I can float, no problem. I have no problem relaxing in water. Anyway, <laughs> um, I did record some video of just the ocean, just so I could have it for <laughs> to get me through this winter. 
it's brutal here in Chicago. Um, so I'll put a video here. Hopefully that worked. Um. We cleaned up, we, you know, we decided to go back to the ship, we cleaned up, took some naps, watched more Disney movies, um, and then we got ready for pirate night, and we went to the deck party. Um, we didn't go to the show that night, it was a variety show, it was somebody I, as a band I never really heard of, so I was like, I really don't care if I miss it. <laughs> um, so we went to the pirate party, which was on uh, the pool deck. They again closed the pool down, and they had a dance party for the kids. Um, and then Captain Hook and Smee came and took over our ship. <laughs> and then Mickey came and saved us. I have a video of that here. It's Mouse! Ah, woo! But now, let a hero show you how it's really done. And then, um, after that, we went back to Lumiere's, um, but instead of having French food, we had pirate food. I got a wonderful crab cake with that one. Um, I had mango, chilled mango soup, which was so yummy. Um, and then, pretty much after that, we went to bed. Because <laughs> we had uh, the late dinner. Um, we didn't eat dinner till 8.15, and by the time everything was served and we were done, it was like after 10, and it's like, let's just go to sleep. So, day four was in Nassau, Bahamas. Um, and this was the only excursion that we signed up for. Well, the 5K was considered an excursion. Um, but we signed up for the Grey Cliff Chocolate Factory Tour. As a chocoholic, I was so excited. <laughs> so we went and we got to taste, like they showed us how chocolate is made. Um, and they had, they had different bins, so like they had the white chocolate. <coughs> <coughs> this has got to stop. They had the white chocolate bin, which of course isn't chocolate. They had a milk chocolate, and then they had the dark chocolate, which is my favorite. <laughs> <coughs> and so, while we were there, we got to make um, chocolate bars and dip different things in chocolate, you know, like in chocolate, so like marshmallows and pretzels. Um, and then we made chocolate bark. Um, Ryan and I both chose the dark chocolate because we thought it tasted better than <laughs> the others. Um, so we did the chocolate making and then we, you know, of course as you're making it, you're sampling it as you go. So we got back to the ship and we're like, we need some real food. Enough with the sweets. Um, 
and yeah, so like we had lunch, then we met up with the Christiansons, um, with Scott and Sarah and Ruby and Zoe. Ruby and Zoe had done the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, um, where they make you into Disney princesses, so Ruby was Cinderella and Zoe was Elsa. And um, so then so they got their pictures and then they changed into street clothes, but their hair was still all done and had glitter everywhere. And we went back to the fort and Nassau to go shopping and get souvenirs. Um, <clears throat> so my ornament from the Bahamas, I got this lovely uh, ball that has the Bahamian flag, which reminds me of my socks. <laughs> I love that. And then the magnet that I got was this cute sand dollar, um, the painted sand dollar. And then also, I had been on the lookout for keychains or charms or anything <coughs> that I could make into progress keepers. So I found this really cute keychain set. So you have a lighthouse, you have a seahorse, a conch shell. There's one piece that flipped over. I can't see what it is. <coughs> I think it says Nassau. Um, and then it has a Bahamian flag in the shape of a heart. So, those will be progress keepers soon. <coughs> but while we were shopping, a rainstorm hit. <laughs> um, like, it was bad, like, trying to get through all of the it's like we'd run to a shop and then wait and then run to another shop trying to dodge the rain which made the water choppy which made our last night very wavy like it was both um both of the girls and scott were really sick that night <laughs> and um i didn't sleep well because you know, you think, oh, it's rocking you to sleep. No, it did not help me. I think that's kind of why I still feel so... <coughs> <coughs> so wobbly right now. Is because of the way that <laughs> the last night was. Um, but after we got back from shopping, um, Ryan and I cleaned up. We went to... Um, it's kind of like a timeshare spiel, but it's for the Disney Vacation Club. It was 45 minutes. We got $50 credited to our stateroom, which I was like, I'm sitting here for 45 minutes. I'm knitting the whole time. And it's paying for my Castaway Key hoodie. That's pretty much what I was like. This will pay for my hoodie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, and that's when I was really tired. And I dropped a stitch on my on my socks. I almost said shoes. I dropped a stitch on my shoes. No. <laughs> um, but it was right after that. We walked outside and Goofy was there. <coughs> so we got in line. <coughs> I am so sorry for this. Don't know what's going on. Anyway. So we got in line to see Goofy. And I tried to video Ryan doing stuff to Goofy. <laughs> um, so, like, he went in to do a fist bump and he did the whole snail thing. Totally missed it. And then Goofy went to do it back and instead of fist bumping Ryan, he grabbed Ryan's hand and went like this, which we call gear shift. Missed that. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I tried. But I still got pictures of him with Goofy. Um, and then right after Goofy, like right after we did that, Minnie came out. And she was in her evening gown. And I was like, I have to get a picture with Minnie. I have to. I had my purple Minnie Mouse ears on. Um, <clears throat> and so we went back and got in line. And I got my pictures with Minnie. Well, first of all, she comes up to me. And, you know, of course, they can't talk to you, so they're miming. And she points to my ears, and she makes this sign for, you know, sewing, and then pointed to me, and I was like, yes, 
I crocheted my ears myself. You know, of course, you can't see her facial expression, but oh, yay. And then um, I have on my Mary Poppins t-shirt that says practically perfect in every way. And so she, that Ryan has a video of this where she's reading my shirt. And then she starts skipping around. <laughs> and then, you know, then you know, after interacting for a little bit, then they take pictures. So I got my picture with Minnie, which I was excited about that. And then Ryan and I went and cleaned up. Uh, we knew we were going to Animator's Palette for dinner that night. So we figured we'd wear classic Mickey and Minnie t-shirts. Um, although I have my Minnie Mouse on today. I have a different one. Ryan's has Mickey and it says World Class Charmer. My shirt is Minnie and it says Charmed. So we put those on. Um, we were walking through, um, the main atrium, uh, we were going to go grab a couple souvenirs from the cruise, like from the actual ship, um, so we'd have mementos of that, um, and we saw Thor, and Ryan's like, I have to meet Thor, I'm like, okay, <laughs> and so I made sure I videoed Ryan's interaction with Thor, I got the whole thing. Very nice to meet you. Hello there. Hello there. How much are they? Hey, Ryan. Oh, you're looking very beautiful. Oh, very yeah. strong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you work hard for that. Oh, very much. Oh, very much. A lot of basketball. Yes, yes, the Avengers have brought me back to the shoot. Good Right here. So after that, we went and unpacked. It was so sad, packing up everything and then making sure that everything got put in and all the souvenirs, made sure we had room for all souvenirs, everything it was very difficult, <laughs> but we got it, we got it all back um, and then we went for dinner at Animator's Palette. I do have a video I'm still debating on if I want to put it in here because it's a surprise, like what they do there is amazing. And I was just awed by it. And Sarah could not wait to go to Animator's Palette. So she was very excited. Um, but, of course, we were on a very wavy ship. <laughs> very wobbly. Um, so Scott and the girls really didn't really, didn't really get to enjoy it as much as the rest of us did. And I felt bad for that. Um, so... You know, after everything, nobody was really feeling very well, so we all went to sleep pretty early that night. Because we knew we'd have to get up early to go get off the ship. Um, so, we get off, uh, we wake up the next day, go to breakfast um, at Animator's Palette again. Um, had a nice breakfast to send us off. And then immediately, boom, off the ship we went. <laughs> And then, um, so we got off in Miami, Scott went to the airport, got a, uh, rental car, we got in the van, or actually the van, and we drove to Orlando, because the flights out of Miami or Fort Lauderdale were like $100 more per Ryan and I, than Orlando, so... We f drove to Orlando to catch a flight home. So, in one day, I traveled by sea, by land, and by air. <laughs> and let me tell you, getting home in Chicago was brutal. You know, we had left 60 or 76 degree weather, and we came back to 14 degree weather. And while we were waiting for, because the gate that we were supposed to get off, um, another plane was there, and so while we were waiting for them to leave, they decided, oh, let's load up more drinks on the plane. So they opened the back door and started loading things on. We were two rows from the back, so that cold air just, like, hit us so hard. <laughs> it's like, we don't even have our coats. Like, I had a jacket with me that I could put on. Ryan had his coat. Ryan had his coat, but he was like, I don't want to put it on, I don't want to put it on. And then finally he's like, I got to put this on, it's too cold. And then just waiting for our ride to pick us up, it was just, 
<laughs> brutal. Oh. And then come back to our furnace not really working very well. Just had a guy come and look at it and um, just their parts that are old that need to be replaced. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's my cruise. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope everything edited just right. <laughs> And I'll see you later with more yarny goodness. How about that? Let's sh let's share the yarny goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. God bless. Bye. Mm -hmm.